Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is day number two of 25 days of Christmas and today we are at Southern Marketplace's Christmas Marketplace outside of Red Ball and Springs in Tennessee and I didn't know what I was driving out here to. I drove quite a ways to get out here and from what I see I'm actually pretty excited. This looks really fun. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's, let's get out and, and go start looking around. This looks pretty exciting. They had all sorts of yummy food options. There was barbecue. There was, uh... I don't even know. There was a lot of stuff. I didn't actually eat anything, but there was there was quite a selection of, of things for you to nibble on. So that was pretty fun. This was really cute. I really like this little fruit fruit tea place. That was so sweet. Oh my gosh, there was some adorable clothes. I was like, I could take with these coveralls. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, <laughs> so cute. I think that everything was so expensive though. It was all like, like 50 and 60 dollars. These dresses are so cute and oh my gosh, adorable. But I just, I couldn't bring myself to spend the money that they had on a lot of this stuff, but it was really, really cute. I was, it was very, very pleased with the clothing selection. There was a lot of, of really cute clothes here. I wanted this shirt. Me and my mother-in-law had seen a girl wearing a shirt just like this. They're very, very similar and I really wanted it. <laughs> Christmas sweaters here were Christmas sweatery. This was so thick and soft and adorable. Oh, I wanted that so bad. There was a lot of really cute Christmas clothes that I was like, I need this. This pajama set was a little bit on the thin side for the price that they wanted. Look at those sleeves. It was so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. And um, over here, look at this sweater. Look at this sweater. Oh my god, I wanted this so bad. It's so stinking cute. This one was so classic and it's a nice thick sweater. I really like that one. This shop had quite a bit of Christmas stuff in it that I really liked. I have a sweater just like this, but it's like green instead and I really like it. It's so soft. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dress was so cute. I just couldn't bring myself to spend $65 on it. Sorry. I thought of my sister when I saw this blue velvet dress and oh my gosh, I really like these. These were so freaking cute. These little Christmas dresses. Oh my goodness, I really love those. That was just adorable. Nativity scene. Oh, it was handmade and quilted. It was adorable, adorable.
Okay, the antique store was my favorite. It had the most adorable stuff. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, this little pig. I almost bought him. He was so cute. I just really liked the antique section of the store of the fair festival market thing. <laughs> Look at this little piggy. He's so cute. Don't ask me where I would have put him. On the wall, I guess. But it was my favorite. Everything else was alright, but I really like the antique section. Look at this little chicken. <laughs> He's so cute. These butter churns. I almost bought one, but I couldn't tell if they were actually old or not. So they did have like a light up walk area, but obviously it wasn't nighttime, so it wasn't lit up, so I don't know what that exactly looked like. I don't really understand it, but they had quite a few people here with the permanent jewelry where they like put the bracelets and stuff on you that don't have a clasp and stuff. I'm not really sure the fad with that, but it was kind of cool. might be the creepiest Santa I've ever seen in my life. I mean, what the heck is with that guy? <laughs> and then yard darts. I almost bought these, but I didn't. <laughs> I really like these. They are like old uh, miniatures. I don't know what they would have originally came out of or if they were on somebody's display or in a museum. I don't know, but they were super cool and I couldn't think of where I could put this really sparkly handle. <laughs> they also had this place where I guess you could come and cut Christmas trees. That was pretty cool too. Okay, I made it back to the car. That was pretty big. I was surprised at how big it was. However, I didn't buy a single thing. Not one thing. It was the basic white girl capital of the world. Like, everything was so expensive. And it was really neat to walk around. I really wish I had brought my mother-in-law with me. She wouldn't have bought anything either. But it was fun to walk around. It was really pretty, but oh my gosh, like it was literally the basic white girl <coughs> capital, but I had a good time. So if you're into to that sort of stuff, I would definitely look into that for next year. It was fun. It was really pretty. Your kids could see Santa. And um, there was probably a couple of things that I would have bought. I, I found some like some food items. I would have bought some cookies probably. And they had some like vanilla extract and you know stuff like that that I would have bought. A few of the antiques. I really like the antique shops. Those are my favorite. Um, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah I had a really good time. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh, shop. <laughs> and um, if you liked it hit the like button. If you really liked it subscribe. This is only day two. Three. Two? Two. <laughs> two? Yes. Two <laughs> of 25 days of Christmas. So tune in tomorrow. And I do have a cold. That's why I sound like this. <laughs>